Hey, what's up guys? Tuki here, back again, finally, with an episode of my franchise hockey manager for Road to Glory, and today, we have a pretty big decision on our hands. I was looking at the comments of the last episode, now obviously we just finished our first season with Espoo United in the Finnish second tier, and the questions were, heading into this episode, what do we do as far as a regular job goes? Do we stay with Espoo United? And also on a national team level, what do we do? And the popular choices were to go with the Finland under 17, which makes a whole lot of sense, seeing as we're currently in Finland for our main job. The more kind of go for the memes option is the North Korean national team. And then the more serious option would be taking the Latvian national team offer. And I'm considering all three, but at the end of the day, this is a Road to Glory series, and the goal is to get us to the NHL. The goal is to win a Stanley Cup. So I need to think what our best I need to think of what our best option is when it comes to the thought of winning a cup as quickly as we possibly can. Our reputation still at a complete unknown. Uh, <laughs> Our patience levels it not at all, and financial patience is low. This game knows me incredibly well, particularly in the terms of uh, particularly in terms of patience. But as far as financial patience, that is absolutely true, and I'll explain to you as to why. With Espoo United, we are looking at having to fill quite a uh, quite a few spots on this roster, as we have lost a lot of players to free agency. Now, we do have some players within our farm team system that can be signed, but the main problem is we have $119,000 to sign players. It's not much. It doesn't really guarantee us that we're going to be back into true contention next season. The only way I see that happening is that the players we already have on this team can carry the weight can they do that? I'm not sure. The goaltending and the defense would be solid, but I feel it could be extremely difficult to find some forward help. Now, again, the problem is, are we going to be able to compete for the title? As was pointed out in the comment section of the last video, when you look at the Finnish tier system, there isn't a clear promotion path from the league. We are currently in the second tier to Liga. That is something I just learned. So had we even won the league, we would not have been promoted, but we could be demoted down to the third tier. It's a different system as far as what teams are allowed into Liga as opposed to Sweden, if I'm not mistaken, where it's just outright relegation and promotion, much like you'd see, say, in the English Premier League, the football, the English Football League, that whole system. So knowing that if we stay, we can't even get this team promoted it kind of takes away a little bit of the specialness of running this team for me, even though we are, as I just found out as well, we are essentially controlling the Espoo Blues. They're kind of reborn. Similar, I would say, I guess from my understanding, similar to uh, MK Dawn's AFC Wimbledon setting, where Wimbledon moved to, Dawn, to uh, Milton Keynes. And then fan created, you get the point. Look up that scenario if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Football! Anyway, so I'm trying right now, I'm trying to, still, even as I record this, I thought I had my mind made up, I don't. I'm trying to debate as to what the best decision is. I can pretty much tell you I'm not taking the North Korean job. It comes down to either the Finland under 17 or the Latvian offer. If I take the Finland job... I'm staying with Espoo. If I take the Latvian job, I'm leaving. So I don't know what to do. The thought of wanting to win a championship before I move on is absolutely there. But also, wanting like, what is the better path? Winning a title here or going straight to the Latvian team offer and trying to find success at the international level? What is the better path? And I honestly don't know the answer because of my lack of experience with this game. So I still just, I don't know what the best option is to go for. The lack of funds 
is absolutely a factor. Uh, let me sort this out here by signable players and we'll take off RFAs. That way I can just double check who is available to us here. And if we look at potential, uh, I think this is Vieti Mietnin, if I'm not mistaken. We'll try to sign him. But I mean, even then, two star, two star, two star, three two star guys. And a couple of one and a halves. Is, I mean, and then who am I looking at in terms of free agency? I just don't know. I mean, while we are allowed to sign foreign players, there is the emphasis on bringing in players from Finland. Uh, we do have a couple of uh, international exemption spots, for lack of a better term. So when looking at who we'd be able to sign, I'm just not sure. Let me look at goaltenders first, for example, because we do have Norgia. We would need to bring in somebody, uh, potentially. We do have some players within the system. Now, obviously, like, Vieni uh, Vevelainen is there. I don't think that would happen. I'm not even sure where he's playing at the moment. Yeah, he's not interested in coming over here anyway, so that's out the door. Let's look at our best ability options. We got Rusu as well. Would he be interested? No, he would not. What did he win? Uh, he won the Goaltender of the Year award, I imagine? I mean, he won some awards this past season. We got some two-star goalies as well. I just want to kind of see what they'd cost, though, more than anything. 71! Good lord! I mean, that's just for a, that's for a two-star goalie? What was, yeah, he was a two-star goalie. Now, not that we need a two-star goalie, but that's the point. How the hell am I going to bring in anybody to be able to keep this team in contention? Like, I'm just not being given enough to even come close to being able to contend. There's no way. I just don't see how it's possible. And I don't want to stick around on this team for another season if it's almost going to be impossible for me to have a chance to win the league title. And I just don't see that. Like, maybe, again, if there was promotion at the end of the rainbow, so to speak. But I just, I don't see how this is going to happen. Let me see if there's anybody else I can possibly sign. Uh, nope, Koivula's not biting. I mean, yeah, guys, I think... I think we're in a whole lot of trouble here. A whole lot of trouble. Uh, let me sort by potential again. Um, so even this guy here, Yang, he's one star. Is he interested in signing? Because we know Yolanda's not. He's not interested in signing. Okay, well, guys, I think I kind of have my answer here as far as what we're going to have to do because I don't see a way out of this. Let me look by ability. I want to look for two star players. And I can't even scroll down far enough to look for two-star players. So let me look for just centers. Let's see as far as just centers go. There was that guy there right at the top, but I already sorted by ability. What would it cost to get a two-star center? We got a 23-year-old here. Is he interested in signing? He is. 10K. All right. So we're looking at a team... Of two star players. Is that enough? You know, we're looking at league average to slightly above league average. Is that enough combined with who we have here to get this done and to find success this season and to make it worth staying with Espoo United? Again, I don't want to leave without finding success, but. There is just such, such little room to, to move to maneuver with here. That's the thing. The challenge wasn't win and move on. The challenge was get to the NHL. Is it worth potentially having a down year with Espoo in attempts to win the league? That's not to say I can't take the Latvian job as well. Stay with us, Pooh. Damn. Am I allowed to look at their team? Apparently not. 
I'm sure there's a way I can. I think I know the way I could too, but... Oh my. All right. Finland under 17. Let's take a look at what that roster's looking like right now, can I? No? Can I take a look at schedule? All right. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Damn. Yes, Pooh, I don't, I don't want to leave you. Let me look at what other teams are looking like right now. I think that's going to be the deciding factor. So, Tuto, for example. Turku. They're, they're looking about the same, honestly. I'm not too impressed by that, actually. Okay, Savalina. Wow, they have nobody either. You know what? I mean, what about Rovaniemi? I mean, we might have a chance. We might have a chance here. Hmm. I love that there's uh, the five-star guy. <laughs> Pavel Datsuk, five-star guy. Marco Dano, five-star guy. Maybe, maybe we try to make this work. Maybe, just maybe, we try to make this work. So let's look at goaltending first. I know that I had Norja in goal. Let me see here. So a two and a half. I like this 25 year old. Is that going to be too much money? 10k. And how many players am I going to have to sign? I think 10k is too much. I can't sign anybody for more than 10k at this rate. So what do we have here for the two stars? Anybody with more than three star potential? No. So we're looking at Kulmala, Laxo, Lapinen, and Harald. Oh, good old Harold here. What is your first name? Eunice Harold. At a 905 save percentage. What's he willing to sign for? Whew, under five grand, huh? I, I can accept that. I will gladly submit my offer. I think we have a goalie in our system as well, but that's not a bad offer to send out. So, looking at the roster again. Okay, it's showing us roving the Emmys we want. Our own roster. Left D, we're pretty much sorted. Right D, we're also pretty much sorted. We're getting a slight improvement on goaltending. So we need uh, we need forwards primarily. So let's see how we can get this to work. If we primarily need high end forwards, let's start with left wings. Again, let's go signable. Back down to Finland, and we'll see what the what the average price is here. I guess. So I'm going to look at a two and a half star to begin with. And I'm kind of looking for a familiar name. more than anything. Someone, we got a Smedberg though. That's tremendous. I mean, Westermark was on our team last year. I don't think he'll come back. He had 22 points for us in 46 games. I don't think he's willing to come back. No, he is, and he wants to sign for 11. 11. He's from Espoo as well. You know what? Just because you are from the city, buddy. Let's see if we can bring you back. So he was what? Two and a half? I think that's the option. Is maybe bring in people for around 10K. Rather than, say, going for... God, I really wish it wouldn't change the filter every time, though. That's... Kind of annoying. It should bring me right back to what I was looking at. I'm going to probably have to shortlist people instead. Or potentially make a jump cut. Because that's going to be slightly tedious. i got to admit, I'm not a big fan of that. Let me see here. Looking back at ability. like I could try to go all in for like a three. Actually. How much depth do we want? Do we just want high end talent? How much is a three star guy looking for? Like uh, Marjamaki, for example. Is he willing to sign with us, first and foremost? That's a no. 
<laughs> that, my friends, is a no. Okay, at least it brought me back this time. Alright, so I'm thinking three stars not going to happen. What about Vidgren, though? He's a younger player. Maybe he wants less? Mm, doesn't want to sign at all. Okay, so that, that strategy of maybe signing like one better player and then a couple of slightly weaker ones, not as likely. But we sent an offer in for Westermark. Who else can I look to bring in? Um... I'm looking at two and a half star here. And I mean, we do have the three star players. What about this guy right here? Like, literally, I'm just randomly selecting names. 19, though. Ugh. I wish I could sort it by how much they wanted. I don't believe I could do that. Again, I want someone with three star potential. What about this guy? He's currently hurt. How long is he out for? Two to three weeks. All right. Is he injury prone? I suppose that's my next question. Is he injury prone? Not really. He had 15 points in 18 games. Uh, let me take a look at the stats. Not bad. I'm not going to try to pronounce the city that he's from. Is he willing to sign with us? Yes, he is, and he's willing to sign for cheap. Okay. That's not bad. So, I think at this rate... And this is just what we're going to try to do. We're going to try... Hopefully it keeps my uh, my free agent sort here. It did. Okay, so I just can't click back to free agent center. Leo Komarov's a free agent, by the way. So, we have what? 96k left to spend. I think... I think we're going to stay here, guys. We're going to... We're going to go back for one more attempt. And we're going to see if we can sign this guy first and foremost. But we're going to see if we can bring a title to Espoo. 17k, huh? You know what? I'm willing to do that. Let me see if he'll accept that. Bring us down to 78. I want to bring in two more centers. Um, and that was who? This guy? No, it wasn't. Toivala. Salminen. Let's see if old Salminen. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Oh, boy, aren't you injury prone. Never mind. Never mind. You are quite injury prone. This guy. Wasn't he on our team? I know I recognize the name. I do. Uh, is he willing to sign with us? He is. He won't. He's a little bit expensive. But that's the thing, if I bring in a couple of expensive players and combine that with younger players and really cheap players I should be able to sign, I might be able to make this work. And if not, uh, and I find out that I'm screwed, I'll just resign. <laughs> and I'll run and hightail it out of Sweden as quickly as I can. Or Finland, Jesus. Oh my god, I'll hightail it out of Sweden too. I'll just leave Europe. Let's get the hell out of there. We know Elon and won't come back because he's a dick. Uh, Helenius. Helenius, Helenius, you're not a big time point getter, but I'm also not that picky right now. And you're willing to sign for cheap, so please do. 51k left. Right. Try to get one more guy. I can look to even bring in... I mean, at this rate, I'm going to be able to bring in, like, a big time game changer for, like, 40k. <laughs> At this rate. Oh my god, you're having to treat this more like Ultimate Team than anything else. This guy had 8 points last year. 17. I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. Alright, so we've sent out on our initial offers. I'm gonna wait. I want to see if these guys accept. If they do, we're taking the Finland job. If they don't, and I have to start signing players who are like 2 star and below... Then, I don't know, we might hightail it out of here. So, let's do the old jump cut, because I'm sure this is going to take a while to load. So, something happened. Something happened that I didn't expect, that I wasn't warned about. Yeah, and some of you, who are more experienced with this game, know exactly what I'm about to mention. If you skip a day, the one... The, the, the national team offers are one day only. 
So I cannot take the Finland job, I cannot take the Latvia job. On the bright side, we're about to sign certain players, but I gotta admit, guys, this is the first time I've ever had an ounce of frustration with this team, and unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. The autosave kicked in. Yeah. We have... We have lost that option. And I just... Oh, my God. This is the first... Now, here's the thing. Like, the game's crashed on me. That's a different frustration. This is the first bit of frustration. In a way, I thought it would be like FIFA, where maybe I have a couple of days, if not a couple of weeks, to answer. No. You get one day to decide. And unfortunately, nothing's popping up in available jobs still. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, no. All right. Well, now is... Now, now is a very important time for us, isn't it? Because we... Oh boy, we need to make a decision. I, oh my god, like now at this point, do I just stay with Espoo or do I leave and hope that a new job pops up? Because everything I said before is true, except now I'm feeling even more trapped. It's like, okay, now what's the best option to get to the NHL? Because for this season, I've apparently missed out on the option of coaching a national team. So do we leave and hope that, I mean, what would be a more prestigious job? I mean, I, as a complete unknown, I don't know if, for example, the Austrian League or the Czech League would take a, a chance on me, if any team would take a chance. Like, obviously, I'd love to go to Germany, the DEL. That's not going to happen, I would assume. So risk versus reward here against staying with Espoo for one more season and just trying to build a half-decent team or leaving and hoping some other offer comes up because, I don't know, I'm, I'm panicking a little bit. But also, I know, it, you know, this is going to be like that long-term approach. We at least know what we're getting with Espoo United. I wouldn't want to leave this job and then sit for a year just waiting. That would be an outright disaster. So, I'm going to end this here. Because I... Oh, God damn it. Am I somewhat aggravated at this game? I just... I didn't know. I didn't know. If we decide to continue on with Espoo United, we will keep track of all these players that we have sent offers to, in which we are still uh, the top offer for. Or, we'll spin the wheel of fate and hope that we get a half decent offer that could help us you know elsewhere where we might have a little bit more support from our owner who doesn't leave us 100k to sign free agents so guys i'm sorry that you know we kind of come back after a tiny bit of a break and this is the episode but i'm afraid i'm gonna fuck something else up even further i gotta be honest with you so for today, we will step back. I promise next episode, no matter what, we will make a lot of progress. I, I don't even want to say like, hey, I hope you enjoyed because I don't know if I did, but it is what it is at this point. I will see you guys in the next one. Oh my God, no. <laughs> I wanted to coach Latvia so badly. Or Finland. Or Finland. Finland.